with summer comes barbecue season and barbecue season to me means I'm gonna marinate a lot of steaks uh, I'm gonna show you my marinade and I really hope that you like it okay to start it I'm gonna put a little bit of oyster sauce uh, let's say a tablespoon should be enough we're gonna put at least three tablespoons of ketchup we're gonna put a little bit of rice vinegar I would say two tablespoons should be alright okay oil sin sauce <clears throat> whoa almost out well luckily I need only a teaspoon so not too bad and <coughs> this is optional it's called Ein's Red Thai it's a little spicy it gives a little kick it's pretty good actually now let's put one tablespoon of this and of course your soya sauce who would go without soya sauce now let's put a little bit And I love to add a little tiny bit of liquid smoke in it. A couple of drops should do the trick. I'm adding a little bit of garlic powder. We're gonna put some salt, not too much. We're gonna put some pepper. Not too much either <laughs> and of course onion powder and me I love it sugary so I'm gonna put uh, let's say two teaspoons a little bit more two teaspoons of sugar and a bit of water let's see quarter of a cup. Let's mix the whole thing. And we're ready to emerge our steak inside and they're gonna be in this for at least 12 hours. Me I love it when they soak in the juice, the flavor and I'm gonna cook them on the barbecue later on the next day so I'll see you then and welcome to our backyard <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to cook those steaks uh, I prefer going when the, the heat's about between 5 and 550 because I like my steak seized the rest is pretty simple it's no-brainer <laughs> you want those steak to seize and they are seizing Already, I got a whiff and it smells awesome. Okay, I'm gonna be cooking them for probably a minute on one side, a minute on the other side because I like my meat medium and bloody a bit. Uh, so I'll see when they're cooked. They're cooked! <laughs> I love them just like that. Remember something though. You want that meat to rest for probably seven to eight minutes before serving it. And we're gonna go and plate those big chunk of meat. Well, if you want a little trick for your potato, you put some butter, of course, but to season it, a tiny little bit of salt. You're gonna be putting a little bit of celery seeds, a little bit of pepper, and a tiny bit of onion powder and garlic powder and of course milk and here in Canada we got those big bag of milk which are very annoying sometimes but that little spice 
that you put in the potato with the milk and the butter will really, really bring up and complement your steak. Ooh, creamy. And let's serve ourselves a generous portion. Oh yeah. And that's your steak for the day. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe and please share it with people that you love. Have a very, very good meal.